Hello, everyone. Um, I'm sure if you've been following the uh, the LGB Alliance case, um, you've heard that Kate Harris burst into tears today when uh, she was being questioned about whether lesbians can have penises. And, um, you know, what can you say except shame on everyone who, who put her in that position? Shame on you all. And the one I want to talk today about is uh, John Nicholson, because I believe there's enough here to uh, report him to um, the Parliamentary Standards Committee. Uh, you may have seen today a tweet by Susan. I was going to post it on my site, and I may still do, but it'll just take ages because she's she's amassed so much evidence uh, here. Um, but it kind of shows how Nicholson works, what he's been up to, and how he has, to cover his own arse, spread a poisonous lie about the LGB alliance without any evidence, um, using merely the kind of uh, amplifying power of his echo chamber of trans rights activists. So um, let's have a look at this. It's it's really good, and, I'm, and I hope, uh, Susan, I hope you don't think I'm... I'm, I'm piggybacking on the brilliant work you did here. Uh, Susan's um, work is really uh, what I want to highlight, uh, but but I'll I'll just quickly go through just to show the dishonesty of this man. Uh, so um, now, how can I do, how do I do this? What's the best way of doing this? I think if I do this, it'll be a bit better. Yeah. Okay, there we go. So uh, it began with a tweet to watch and learn with a link to a five-year-old BBC documentary that was no longer available to watch. Okay, so this is where John Nicholson came into the um, came into the conversation, uh, as far as Susan knows. Many replied, most were ignored. It became clear he wasn't seeking a reasoned debate, but was instead uh, looking to host some sort of uh, bun fight on his radio show. Uh, loads of suggestions. He should instead speak to women. Okay, fond of Beatles and Sally Hines were, were both suggested. Um, so two sides of the uh, of the uh, fight. Um, lots of offers from women to go on and speak to him about it. He ignored them all. Uh, there's an offer from Debbie Hayton, a trans woman, but he knows that Debbie disagrees with him, so he ignored Debbie. He just began uh, blocking people like Jane Claire Jones, who said this to him. Lily Maynard, who said this. Referring to those who replied as angry ranters, which was insulting to those who had tried to engage with his initial tweet. Then bizarrely, he claimed to have been on the receiving end of a Twitter pylon by the sinister transphobic Alliance LGB. Oh, there I am. <laughs> Super BBC Sarah Smith piece. Yeah, okay. Well, we'll be going back to that at some point. Uh, quote, quote tweeting his earlier tweet about the documentary and addressing the embarrassing fact pointed out to him by many that it wasn't actually available on the BBC link he had given and now saying it was on a different channel, yet didn't link to that one either. Spent the next few hours tweeting abuse. More abuse. Oh, this is about me. If your new, if your knees are shaking that much, it's a sure a sign you should shut up. Did you notice uh, that Wassy, the guy who phones folk to shout he fucks your granddaughter, is now pontificating about women's rights? Talk about brass neck. John, uh, John, Jonathan Ross is uh, one of the good guys in this whole fight. I can tell you that. Um, still tweeting after 1 a.m. about transphobic pylons from this sinister alliance, uh, uh, alliance LGB. Where are the examples of the abuse he was sent? Anyone who receives abuse, and I know this because I've received plenty, retweets that abuse to show everyone else what it's like. Why did John Nicholson never tweet the abuse he said he was receiving? I'll tell you why, because he's lying. John Nicholson is a liar. 
The next morning, LGB Alliance comments for the first time about the remarks made by the MP. To everyone who is annoyed by the defamatory remarks made about us by the MP, really, Mr. John Nicholson, who clearly doesn't have a clue who we are or what we do, please make a donation to us in his name and we will tweet out uh, your message. Um, LGB Alliance there, I think, giving as good as they got, probably not the tone they take now because they've been so battered about by bad faith actors like John Nicholson, who asks, by the way, let's re remind people, why the LGB Alliance are not doing any charitable duties when they spend all their time defending themselves from lying bigots like John Nicholson. The concerted campaign against LGB Alliance became, uh, began months earlier. And here's all the, uh, here's all the kind of Scottish coalition against uh, LGB Alliance, Equality Network, more activists who've infiltrated organizations. Oops, sorry, don't know what I've done there. Ah, I've lost a thing. Hold on a sec. I'll try and get it back while I um while I uh, talk to you. Hold on a second. But um, so what we have is a uh, yeah. Here we go. So what we have is a is is like so far we just have a kind of a a a a a, 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 a what's it called a, an already existing fact a pre existing fact. And he is, he is making everything fit the uh, framing that he's come up with, that they're a hate group. Therefore, if he calls them a hate group, anything that's sent from them must be hateful. And therefore, uh, you, um, uh, you don't have to send advice. You don't have to show examples. But the real reason he, do, he doesn't show examples is because none of the stuff uh, points to them being hateful. It's all women trying to engage. Women asking him to um, uh, to listen properly to this subject. Women worried about safeguarding. Lesbians worried about um, being forced to ha uh, uh, have relationships with men with male-bodied people, um, uh, which saw again uh, its absurd fucking zenith in a lesbian bursting into tears in a British courtroom because of men like John Nicholson. Oh, it makes me so mad. Anyway, there is a. Uh, uh, the 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 thing goes on. Sorry, I'll add it. But the thing goes on, basically, showing the um, extraordinary coalition of activists within all these organisations. There's Janie Godley there, our old friend. Yeah, see, Janie Godley, who turned out to be uh, abusive herself uh, and got into trouble for it. Um, this is them closing down the LGB Alliance's uh, fundraisers with David Paisley, who's now suing lesbian Kerry Black and me. Here he is retweeting. And basically what it is, is it's, it's what they call idea laundering. Nicholson is, is just retweeting everyone who agrees with his view on the LGB Alliance. And this view on the LGB Alliance is formed basically by... Uh, the lunatics who have taken over LGBT, um, the LGBT movement, a group of activists, uh, lunatics, um, money hungry grifters, psychopaths. This thread is is just incredible, and I really, really recommend you uh, you look at the whole thing and absorb just how bad uh, Nicholson's behaviour is. I'll also include um, the email for the uh, for IPSA to complain about his behavior. Let's get John Nicholson out of office. He doesn't deserve to be in there. Thank you very much. See you next time.